Hello, this is Terry with another video. Um, today we're going to talk about Celeste, Drama Minister. It's a 5e uh, game based on 5e Dungeons and Dragons. You can see this is the starting page. You can continue the game, load a game, do adventure, characters, dungeon maker, multiple player, and settings. I'm not used to multiple player option. You review the game, they tell you the privacy, license, game credits, and you quit. What's kind of cool about this game is that the developers allow you to do build your own modules. And what you do is you come over here. See these are the ones that are already loaded. Then you come down here. You can add a new campaign. And that's just you do it yourself. And then if you want to browse other people's work. You can come over here. You have filter by date, location, campaign, whatever you want to filter by. You see, there's lots of options. People rate it, rate them. This one looks interesting. There's discussions, comments, change notes. You subscribe to it. Some they give you a note there. If you want to play any of these, you just click on it. You come over here to New Adventure, change the campaign, and just pick which one you want to play. I like. Lost Valley. Over here, you can pick how you want to play difficulties, story mode, which I usually play, explorer mode, pathetic, scavenger, and cat catalyst mode from easy to hard. And then you get Iron Man here. You can read what that does. You pick your four characters. If you're playing multiplayer, you can only pick. No, one. I don't play multiplayer. So you see that? So what you're going to do? We will leave. For your characters, you can pick all. That's the pre-made pre-gens and the personal ones. Just couple-click. To inspect it. You, when you inspect it, you'll inventory the character, the proficiencies, and what spells they have. You can level them up. Depends on the venture you're going to. You can level them up. You can create a new one. Inspect. So, when you first start a creator, you have to find the race you want to play. Hill Dwarfs have two. Dwarf and Hill Dwarf. You can see what the benefits of using either one. Dragonborn. And each different color has a different uh, breath weapon. Gnomes have two. Half Elf. Half Orc. Human. Tifling. Hive has two, and Marsh, have, have, Marsh Halflings have two. So you can see the one you look at. Look at them. And these are the classes. Barbarian, Bard, Monk, Warlock, and Sorcerers from the DLs, DLCs. And what's kind of cool, the Warlock, the developers really interested in the people's both players. The Warlock, the third, they usually have like three different subclasses. And they, the, they ask the players to 
submit one for the warlock and they actually picked a player the submission for the third uh, subclass of warlock so they actually listen to the players which makes it really cool so we're going to pick a let's pick a warlock this is a warlock charisma white armor if there's a just edit equipment you can actually edit the equipment you're getting so if you don't want to cross lights bowl you can get a quarter staff component patch you can get an orb or a wand and scholars pack you get this one and these are the weapons you can get so I'm just gonna play straight with what they gave us so this is the well there's actually four of them I forget, I think this is the tree, the one that the player created. Then you read each one at the higher levels, we'll see what you get for each one. your background you can go through and read each one there's a lot of backgrounds this is one of the newer ones and then you pick your background personalities you get pick two of these and they change with each one so let's make them a little bit equal he's gonna be e and egotistic so this is chaotic and a eel. This is you get a roll. Computer. This is you get to roll uh, or buy points for your attributes. You got 27. Or you can just roll the dice. I usually just roll the dice. That's a pretty good roll. It tells you you need warlock, you need charisma, constitution, and dex. So we'll put this over here. Intelligence is 14, constitution 14, dex is 14. Put 11 on strength and 10 on wisdom. Okay, next. Well, you can do five points however you want to do it. And then you buy your proficiencies. You get two, begin with. So you can do the intimidation maybe and investigation. If you see an eye here, that means it isn't used in the crown, the main the first original game in the game originally, which is the crown of minister. That's the main campaign. They've also have a DLC with the uh, Lost Valley. So it might be used there. I'll go with history. And then you get to pick a language. Once again, all the eyes isn't used in the main campaign, but like the giant is used in the Lost Valley. So you might want to have someone speak Spanish giant. And then you pick out your spells. You get to pick out two um, cantrips. And if you want, if you're a wiz if you're a warlock, you definitely want Aldric Blast. And then you pick out two spells. I always pick out Magic Missile and then Hell for Hell's Rebuke. And then you decide how you want to, if you can name your character, you can, with the last name, or you can do a random. And there's five faces you can pick out. And you see all these color for skin tones. By decorations, there's 10, I believe, no, 16. And all these colors. Then you can, there's 18 scars you can pick out. Little 
lots of hair shapes you can pick out. 20, 26 of them. I thought I saw a spiky one. That's not saw. And uh, all these colors for hair color, eye color. And you can make your character older, younger. Pick out what voice you want to use. Your pronoun. Write your own. Hit your own background history. And that's finished. That's how you. That's how you develop your character. Then you go to your new adventure. I can see you pick out four. I won't change this. Um, if you use this one, you want to do you want to do the intro the first time. After that, you don't want to do the intro anymore. But we'll go ahead and select that one, just because we're gonna. Show that. Okay, so. You really don't need a. You can pick any kind of party you want to. All fighters, all magic users, whatever that you want to pick out. I won't pick out. Uh, I won't go with um, kind of a wilderness type of people, like a druid, barbarian. Oh, wait a second. Barbarian, select Druid, select Then that warlock we just created. And a bard. That's gonna be our plan, our uh, characters we're gonna play with. Thank you all for watching. This is a short introduction to the game, and I hope to see you in the future. Have a great night and a great day.